the next few tips, we're going to talk about one of the most underutilized but important tools that you can use as a speaker to immediately grab the attention of your audience. What is this all-powerful tool? It's your introduction. Today you're going to learn about the mistake of creating a biography of brilliance. I love that term. It was coined by my coach, Craig Valentine. A biography of brilliance. What is that? It is an introduction that tells you all about the speaker's wonderful background, all of his or her accomplishments, what he's done, where she's spoken, the books that, that have been written, all of that. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Michael, isn't it important to give your background and, and so you can have credibility with the audience? Yes, I'm not discounting that fact. But let's be real about what's going on in the minds of an audience who's never seen you or heard you before. What are they thinking? I hope this next speaker can provide something of benefit to me. I hope this person entertains me. I hope this person doesn't bore me. Okay, those are just three of the thoughts that can be running through their heads. In a previous video, we talked about literally hundreds, but what is the focus of their thoughts? It's them. They want to know what benefits you're going to, you're going to provide to them right now. They have much better things to do than to sit there and listen to someone talk all about their great accomplishments and all their successes, especially when you haven't even gotten to the stage. So as you create your introduction, think about what's going on in the minds of the audience. What do they want to know? As my friend Ed Tate likes to say, their thought process is, so what? Who cares? What's in it for me? So as you create your introduction, make sure that you're addressing it from that standpoint. You'll put some credibility in, but they shouldn't be your first words. So in the next few videos, you'll get some insider tips on how to craft an introduction that gets people to sit up, lean forward, and eagerly anticipate your first words. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.